Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy, this is Red Means Recording, and today we're going to be looking at the Patching Panda Ephemera module. It is a CV and audio recorder, looper, slicer, just overall fun friend, and we're going to use it. Let's, uh, let's get into it as soon as I finish this little weird noise patch real quick. Okie dokie, so control voltage is what drives everything in modular, uh, from pitches to modulation. And the ephemera can record that control voltage, or CV, and play it back in a variety of ways. I have the key step plugged into the ephemera, and uh, when the ephemera is not playing back, it just passes its CV through, which you can hear now. The input knob acts as an attenuverter. I'm gonna keep it all the way up for pitch right now. You can actually record with that knob, just so you know. You don't need to pass something into it, but in this case, we're going to. So, in manual record mode, I'm going to hit record. And record something. I'm recording the control voltage for this melody. Once I hit stop on the record button, I can now hit play. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And now it will play back the CV that's recorded into it. I can actually change the range of the CV playing back, and I can change the speed of it, too. So this melody I just recorded, I can now move through at any speed I want. It can go really fast, too. You can hear that I get sort of these cool, like, arpeggiation sounds, and you can actually get it to go fast enough, depending on how you recorded the CV, to do almost like chord sounds. You can constrain the range and scan through it, either manually or with CV. I have a LFO uh, going into maths into the channel that does a tiny version, and I'm going to turn up that uh, voltage right now, and you'll see it scan through on its own, which is pretty cool. While that's going, you can play around with speed, range, all that good stuff. You can also change the playback direction of the little uh, buffer there. Uh, I like Pendulum a lot. It bounces back and forth, which is really, really cool for both CV and for audio. Ephemera is a two-channel processor, meaning it can do the things it does on two different channels. We're going to go over to channel two now, and we're going to record uh, LFO from the OCHD by playing with the rate from OCHD. And this is gonna get sent to a modulation input on plots. So all the controls we had over that control voltage melody, we now have over like the, uh, the modulator here for plots. Speed, direction, range, scan, all that stuff. It's really cool. This is actually even addressable by a keyboard if you want, if you want to play sections of it. We'll show that off later. things that's really really fun once you have like a melody recorded in is that you can kind of play it like a guitar solo because of the speed and range stuff you can like play something that you would never play normally but it still works okay so i'm gonna take the output of the moscow sequencer which is driving plots and i'm gonna actually molt it into the first channel of the ephemera and we're gonna record the sequence coming out of that and then play around with it with speed, range, all that kind of stuff. So let's hit record on channel one and grab from the Moskwa. So all that CV is now available for me to play back into the Clavis Twin Waves and uh, have fun with. Just to remind you, when play is not selected, it will pass through the input like this. Let's 
get play engaged. the basic functionality of Ephemera. In the next examples, we're going to jump into some of the more advanced features, such as quantization, record syncing, and uh, slicing, which is really cool. Mmm, gooey. So in this demo, we're going to show off how you can put a gate into the record trigger and uh, have it be in time with your sequence, depending on what the gate's timing is. And we're also going to show off quantization of the CV to make it uh, adhere to a pitch. But first, I'm going to grab this core sequence into Morphogene. And Morphogene actually has a lot of similarities to how uh, Ephemera works in terms of how it deals with audio, and we'll get to that in the last demo. So now that that chord sequence is captured, we can put this back to a baseline and bring in that chord sequence on Morphogene. Okay, cool. So, in Ephemera, if you have a gate going into the record input, not the input input, but the record, the one that's labeled record, um, it will wait uh, for you to hit record. And you have to change it to sync mode for record here. So what happens is now when I press record, it's gonna wait for that gate coming out of Pamela's new workout to come in. It will record until it gets another gate. And then it will stop. So a simple way to get Ephemera to sync to your system. And it's very similar to Morphogene when you clock it. So I have this LFO going in and that's gonna be what we're gonna send to the pitch. And you can hear it now, completely unquantized. So we're gonna record this LFO, and then we're gonna quantize it. In order to get the CV to quantize, first you have to go to the menu that says quantize, turn it on, and then you can adjust your scale. This is now on. I already have a scale active, but we'll go in and take a look at that. So here is where you choose the notes of the output quantization. Very intuitive, very visual, probably familiar to people that have used quantizers before. Now, the input knob here is really important because this is not one volt per octave that we're sending in. So using the input knob as an attenuator to attenuate the voltage signal from the OCHD is gonna help us uh, constrain the range that the quantizer is working in.
course, we'll work with other things besides LFOs. For instance, this random voltage from Randstep. jam on this a bit. Probably record some new CV for that Clavis Twin Lays line. And uh, yeah, we're going to treat this like an electric guitar solo. on the slicing. So there are multiple record modes in Ephemera. You have manual record mode, which we've been using uh, quite a bit, which means that when you press the record button, it records, and then it stops when you press the record button again. There's another mode where if you press the play button, it will pause, and you can actually do multi-stage recordings into one thing, which is pretty cool. Every single mode in here also has the sync version, which means it will respond to an incoming gate on the record input, which is very, very useful as you've seen. But then there is the multi-G mode, uh, and with sync specifically. And this is a slice mode. And if you put gates into the record and play, it will create slices as you, uh, as you record. So that's what we're gonna use now. First with CV, and that will set us up for talking about uh, sliced audio next. So Pam's up there is going to send in a gate. There, to our record to stop and start it. And then the sequencer over here is going to be slicing by sending in gates like this. So each one of those is gonna be a slice. All right, let's hit record. See, it just stopped on its own. That's because we're using the sync mode. And now we have slices. So one of the things I haven't mentioned yet is if you hold down the play button, it will ignore play gates, which is really, really useful if you just want it to stop. But you do have to press play again to get it to respond to the play gates, which we need. Those reset it from the beginning of each slice, which is really, really useful in this case. Now I can use scan to move through the slices of the CV that we recorded from Moskwa. I now have a sliced CV melody I can play back as control voltage. This will work with any control voltage.
because the scan or slice is accessible via CV, you can actually use the key step here to play through my slices. Something like the Acid Rain Navigator I think would be better, but you can do it this way. for a bit. you can use the ephemera to capture and slice CV, control voltage, either as modulation or pitch, and send it out and have fun with it. It's really, really cool. I never thought I'd want to be able to like slice melodies up and play them back, but here we are. Next up, we're going to see how this works with audio, and uh, this is, this is going to be fun. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how we can sample and slice audio with the ephemera. It's going to be wild and I'm excited. So we need to go into our menu and select the recording sampling and change the sample rate up to 44.1 kilohertz, which is audio rate, uh, CD quality audio. You get only like four seconds with this, but it's, uh, it's going to be okay. We're using all of the same methods we used before with uh, gates going in to trigger our recording and also to slice on the fly. But I have sped up my uh, slice gates because I really want to get uh, a bunch of slices to play around with here since we're going to have such a, uh, a lot of movement from plots when we start it going. The uh, Mutable Instruments Plots oscillator has the CV input for changing through all the different oscillator models and we are going ham on that. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is what that's going to sound like. We're using RANSTEP to uh, send tons of random voltages into plots to just make it go absolutely bonkers, and it's fantastic. We're processing one of them through math so we can sort of attenuate it. Uh, that's the one that's actually changing the model so we can change the range. So this is going to be our sample source. So let's do that. Record. All right, slices are done. So hit play. Now we can move through it with scan. And because the play gates are engaged, it's actually resetting in time. So it's very rhythmic and just ready to go. It's really, really fun. Just hit record again if you don't like what you got and uh, get another sample. Speed still works, and because speed is actually a like one-time, two-time, four-time thing, it actually uh, expresses itself pretty musically uh, in this case. It's pretty awesome. We're actually going to go into the menu now and change our play direction from forward to pendulum, which will cause the audio to go forward and then reverse. I love this so much. All right, now that channel one is taken care of on ephemera, let's do the same thing with channel two, recording an alternate take uh, from plots. 
these left and right so you can hear our slices. <laughs> now that we have that, we can take the, uh, the plot's output out of Ephemera, put it back into where it belongs, and get a baseline going. voltage here to have it randomly scan a little bit for me and some random speed too. I'm going to jam a little bit more at the end of this video, but that's the Patching Pandy Ephemera, a really, really cool CV recorder, looper, slicer, um, and playback sort of performance device. Um, all these things can be saved and recalled uh, onto the SD card. And uh, yeah, I, there's, there's a ton of different uses for it. I hope that I've uh, kind of shown off like a little bit enough to whet your appetite. Uh, the ability to record slice and then playback uh, CV at any rate you want um, is amazing for melodies and modulation and then this audio slicing stuff is just really really fun even though the sample memory is a little limited it's it's fun as hell and uh, I hope you've enjoyed thanks for watching my name is Jeremy this is Red Means Recording and I hope you have a very wonderful day Thank you.